What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Verzi Effect podcast show. You guys listened to episode 503. My name is Paul Verzi, uh, but you knew that because that's why you're here. Um, the lighting is weird in here, but I'm going to go with it. Um, hope everybody is uh, good. Hope everybody uh, had a good week in between. Um, try to change that. There we go. I was going to have a guest on, a special guest popping in, a friend. Uh, I don't see uh, him here, so we're going to talk. We will start the show. I want to start the Verzi effect by saying finally, 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 okay, I can announce I am doing a second comedy special, and it will be September the 18th, less than two months away, at Levity Live in West Nyack, New York. We, I wanted to go to Milwaukee, then we were gonna do Boston, we'll go to all these different places, but with everything that's gone on, with traveling and things always changing, um, we decided, uh, you know what, we're gonna do it at Levity, over the bridge, over the river, okay? Not in Westchester or New York City, we're gonna be out there on the border of New York and Jersey, at Levity Live, West Nyack, Palisades Mall, beautiful, beautiful venue. And I'm so looking forward to doing this new uh, new hour. And another cool thing and announcement on this is it will be directed by none other than my friend Pete Davidson. Um, Pete Davidson uh, and I have been friends. Uh, I was a actually a comic that he really liked and was a fan of, and we became friends over the years, and he wants to direct it. He loves uh, what I'm doing, and uh, so he's going to be making his directorial debut with that, so I'm um, really, really excited, and uh, get those tickets. Two shows Saturday we're recording, um, September 18th. Uh, I'll be there all weekend, so if you can't make this Saturday, I'll be there Thursday and Friday. Um, and you'll see the same hour, um, but we're recording for the special that we'll, you guys will see, that everybody will see on that Saturday. So check that out. Finally can say that. Finally. Um, also, guys, this weekend, I will be at the SHU, the Shoe Theater in Fairfield, Connecticut, this Friday night. You could check that out. And July 30th and 31st next week, I will be in Nashville, Tennessee at Zanies. All other dates are on paulverzi.com. Oh, somebody's going to enter the room right now on the Verzi effect. It's a guest of the show. It's a great friend. You guys know him and you love him. Let me get him in here and uh, see if uh, there he is. Oh, hey. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? No? Hold on a second. Uh, oh, there he is. Hey, Brett. Yo. Everybody, What's going on? everybody listening to the Verzi Effect, my guest this week is none other than my good friend, Brett Ernst, the hilarious Brett Ernst, who will also be uh, in Connecticut at the Shoe Theater. I'm there Friday. He's there Saturday. You guys know him. You're going to see him again on season four of Cobra Kai. Uh, what are you doing? You're looking around like you just robbed somebody, all right? No, nah, I'm trying to move this car here, man. I'm driving. How you doing? God bless. <laughs> <laughs> the lighting's bad. I, I, I look flushed out. Says, Every time I talk to Brett or call Brett, he's either at a gym, he's meeting a cologne guy, He's he's getting his hair done. I mean, you really are I, like you remind me every time I talk to you, you remind me of when I used to like had hair and go to barbershops when I was a kid. You're still doing it. I mean, yeah, I got to groom, but I mean, no, I am. I am. I do go to the gym a lot. Yeah. yeah every time. Yeah. Every time we talk. Are you like a cardio guy or you do the weights? You try to buff it up or I just some one of those guys. I just. I use like five machines at a time. My super set. I walk around with the big jug of water. I just Yo. sit on the bench the whole time. And then people come by and I'm like, I'm using that. Yo, you know, the I'm using that one too. I'm super setting. And I just stay on my phone the whole time. You know, those guys at the gym who just I, walk around, you never see them doing anything. They just walk. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Dude, why is the lighting so bad here, man? Uh, Ah, you're all right. Whatever, man. This is uh, you're popping in on the show. This is awesome. 
You know what? I do. We do so many podcasts that it, it, sometimes a new look doesn't. <laughs> Remember me and you talked about doing a podcast about not. We doing did a five of them already. I, but it, <laughs> by the way, they, I hope they know. No, when I when I go to the gym, I'm, I hate that guy. You ever have the guy who just walks around with the fake lats? And yeah, and that he, and that brown belt around his back like a championship belt. <laughs> yeah, and he has that big ass uh, gallon of water with him. Everybody's using, rocking gallons. Yeah, using every machine. Hey, bro, I'm on that man. Well, dude, how many fucking machines are you using, guy? <laughs> I'm doing backs. And I'm a superset that. Yo, it's it's lat day. You know those guys who talk about like they, they yeah. each day is for a certain muscle group. <laughs> All right, Christian Latner. <laughs> so uh, what's going on, buddy? You ready to hit the? You're touring, right? I mean, I just got back from Missouri, and I did my show last night in Vegas. Um, but then I, I leave on on. Uh, I'm taking a red eye. So I get in Friday morning. We'll be in Connecticut. Where are you flying? Where are you flying into? Uh, JFK. You need a ride? <laughs> My God. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin has a limo service. <laughs> me and Brett, me and Brett do this ongoing joke that we've done now for, for months and months where that we, you really do have friends that, that have either somebody in their family or a cousin who either has a service that you need or knows somebody that has a service. And they yeah, always, I mean, it's always like, as soon as you, you tell them you got something, they always like, you'll be like, yeah, I just bought uh, some earbuds for my iPhone. Wait, you just bought those. Why don't you come see me? My cousin, he has, he has a business to like earbuds to just like them. It, he yeah. said it's all it's all the same stuff inside. It's yeah, it's just the casing. It's just that's <laughs> it's generic. It's just as I, good I as love time. I love how me and you just opened up with inside jokes, like right out the gate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with how my with the lighting being bad. Um speaking Dude, of I gotta tell you, these gyms out in L in Vegas are are the are just sick, bro. Good. Oh my God, dude, the girls that work out here, it's like, it's just insane. It's why I'm here all the time. I just sit around. I... You know, it'd be funny if you went to the gym and actually got fatter and out of shape because you just sat and watched people. <laughs> Eating sandwiches. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Like, yo, dude, you let yourself go. I thought you were going to the gym all the time. Like, nah, man, I've been. No, nah, I just, I, they got, I eat the, I, I, I just drink the protein shakes. You got cartons of Chick-fil-A? You just stalking people? Dude, uh, back in the day, you know, when I was younger, yeah. um, I would, there were some guys that wanted steroids. There was this kid that, uh, I don't want to throw names out. We're going to be very vague. But he was an Italian kid. <laughs> but I, I sold him Wesson oil in a, uh, in a, <laughs> in a uh, vial, right? So my other friend's like, yo, he's like, yo, shoot me up. So my buddy put the needle in his ass, right? But he, inject, he injected him with Wesson oil. So this kid starts going, yo, I can feel it working already. <laughs> Fucking dumb Guido. Uh -oh. and, then I, and then I had another friend of mine that, I mean, not a friend, but a kid who was taking steroids, but just didn't work out. Like he just thought you take it and, and it just, you know what I mean? <laughs> He just thought shit happened. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, <laughs> I, I was remember, in high school. Yeah, I remember when I was in high school, my friends were like, yo, I'm taking that Winstrel. Yeah. Like, you just get lean. Like, they would say that none of them knew anything. They talk like they're doctors. They, they, yeah. They no shit. Uh, no, nah, he took he took them, but then he would walk around with, like, like he, like he would walk around like he was big. It, dude, it was hilarious. So <laughs> a, a friend of mine, took a picture of him and Xeroxed it and put it in our lockers. So when we, when we opened the locker, you saw him stick. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to ask you, so what's uh, the listeners are interested, Brett, what's going on with uh, season four of Cobra Kai? I mean, from what they know, what's in the trailer, I can't really re reveal a lot, but 
No, like it's coming with when? Do you know when it's dropping? Yeah, the new album drops. Uh, it's supposed to be end of December. Oh, so they're going to do an end of the that, year, end of the year type thing? That's what they said. So, you know, who knows? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, dude, the last season was great. You were so funny in it. And like, it's one of those shows where like, you can't stop watching it. Like at first I was like, who's going to watch like season one? I'm like, who's going to watch, who's going to watch a, a, a feud? I'm even talking about it in my act. I'm like, these guys are still having a beef after 35 years. And, and then all of a sudden I watched it and I'm going, bro, this brought me back. The music brought me back. The, the, the whole show is really, really good, man. They do a really good job. And I'm glad that they moved it from YouTube to Netflix so everybody could see how, how great it is and how great you guys are. Oh, um, yeah, we just got nominated for an Emmy. Oh, nice. Yeah, we got uh, Best Comedy. They, they, they got nominated. Like, uh, I think uh, Ralph got nominated for uh, Best Co Actor. And, yeah, but we just got nominated, man. I don't know if you heard. Oh, no. But listen, though, if you, if you don't win it, my cousin wait, makes you, my cousin makes like, awards. Hold on. You like statues? My you like award statues? Yo, my cousin make replicas. Looks just like it. Dude, you ever hear the Emmys? <laughs> this is called the Jennies. My cousin, he's got an award ceremony. It's going to be bigger than that. It's just like the Emmys. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Yo, you dude, like so <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, the name is always different. Yeah. <laughs> You, you, hey, you watch award shows. My cousin, he's producing one. It's for online, though. It's like the Razzies, but it's, it's, it's for like, you know, actors that people want to know. Dude, he's breaking out everybody. He's like, you have your variety. <laughs> Yo, my cousin, he's independent. He figured out a way to like, you know, get those TikTok stars. He's going to make an award oh. show. It's going to be huge, bro. I'll blow you up. Yeah. He's Trust gonna, me. He said he's going to fly the people out. He could only afford like a dozen right now, but it's going to grow. But you should invest in it. It's going to be huge. Um, I told you the story about my buddy when he got out of jail. He wrote a script and he wanted me to give it to Vince Vaughn. No. Yeah. Please tell me that story. A friend of mine got out of jail and he wrote a script and he wanted me to give it to Vince Vaughn. That's the story. No. So I'm in, I'm in the Tropicana and <laughs> I'm actually sharing a room with Burt Kreischer at the time. Right. Cause we were doing a show. We were touring together. It was like me, Burt, Sebastian, Mike Young. I forgot who the other one was. Oh, it was Steve Byrne. So we did like this. It was called the young American tour. Right. Anyway, so me and Bert, were, were, he was in my room crashing, and, and then my buddy called, and I saw the number. So, you know, I knew that I saw the last name come up. So I'm like, yo, you know, how, how you been? Blah, blah, blah. He's like, I, I got out. Da, 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 da. He's like, yeah, when I was in jail, I, I wrote a script. It's like Goodfellas meets Boiler Room, right? Oh. Then he's like, I want you to give it to Vince Vaughn. <laughs> And he goes, but listen, I swear to God, he goes, but I'm, <laughs> I swear to God, bro, as he asked, ask Kreischer, he goes, but listen, I'm going to play myself in this. Nobody else can play. And I'm like, dude, you went to prison, not Juilliard, <laughs> right? You, you, what makes you think you can oh. act? And by the way, the way it was written, it was, he's like, I'll sing you, but keep it between us. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh my God. And obviously you never send it to Vince, right? What are you nuts? Of course not. <laughs> hey, hey, Vince, listen, you got to read this thing that's unformatted. <laughs> <laughs> you got to read this script. Listen, That's unformatted and written on copy paper. Listen, Vince, it's a movie not starring you. Yes. No, From you got you, you never met. Play, you can play one of the guys, the main guy, but the one guy there, it's, my buddy's got to play it. Because he went to jail and studied acting. Yo, for, I, like for, 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 for five years. <laughs> the, del the delusion of people is so. 
the delusion. I had somebody one time tell me like some, some woman was like, listen, you know, I know you're friends with Pete Davidson. Um, look, I just know him really well. I could tell I could help him. Just let him know. It's like, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Listen, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I don't even know you. I don't even know you. And I'm going to tell my friend to, that he needs to, to start hanging out with you. I don't know you. Dude, I mean, do you know how many, too many people hit me up for tickets for Sebastian? Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, you know, Sebastian, hey, listen, can, can you get me eight tickets? Yeah. What? What the fuck? Why? First of all, <laughs> what? you don't even you don't even come to my show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, you know, it's funny. You know, the people that find out you're doing it. I was I was this is true shit. I'm opening for Burr at the Garden. Yeah. And somebody. Yo, man, how do I get tickets? <laughs> yeah, of course. I know this is coming. They always call. How do I get tickets? I'll pay. Yeah. I'll, I, yeah. D- let me ask you a question. Did, did you fucking call Billy Joel? When he came into town <laughs> and asked him how to get tickets. And uh, how did you know I'm in town? Oh, you saw the, if you saw the schedule, you saw the link. Uh, and it's always the people that you don't give a shit about. Yeah. And you know, what's funny. You ever have people come to the show, even family or friends, and they're the ones making a commotion. All the time. Dude. I had an aunt that was like drinking and talking sh- like, and I'm going like, what the fuck, dude, like you're, you're like, you're supposed to be like, I shouldn't have an obstacle. You shouldn't be my obstacle. Dude, listen, man, a hundred percent. It's something about them getting there. Maybe they're, yes. they self-sabotage you. I had this dude come in. First of all, he asked for four tickets, comes in with nine, nine people, sits in the back, comes late. Walks up to the fucking stage while I'm performing. No. Yeah. And gives me a bottle of water. And he's like, that's my dude. And goes in the back. Then comes up again with a shot, interrupting the set. Was talking in the back with all, I go, dude, I I, I still get mad about it. I I kicked him the fuck out. I said, get him the fuck out of the show. I wow. told him lose my fucking number. You see? And, and then he called me the next day, going, "Why? Why'd you call me out like that?" I go, "You want to hear the fucking video? Wow! You want, you want me to play it back for you? You destroyed the whole. You were the loudest people in the in the room. You were all coked up and fucked up, and it just made. I'll never make that mistake again. You know? Wow, do you need coke? <laughs> you, you do coke? <laughs> my cousin, he's got this synthetic version." Yo, oh, it is. It's something about when you get people tickets, they act like assholes. They think what it is. I think you nailed it. I think they think the fact that they got there through you, they almost feel like this. Uh, they almost feel like this VIP thing. I love how you're still trying to get the right. I, by Dude, the time, I just don't feel like holding this fucking thing. Yeah, you try. There you go. Uh, so, uh, what do you got? Yeah, wood, no, grain, no. wood grain in there? That's a nice car. Um, don't worry about it. Yeah. So, uh, no, it, it's, it's funny. Cause they feel as though that like they're in this VIP thing because you got them the tickets that they're almost like untouchable and they want to do something where I had family members go, no, no, I'm, I'm his family. And they would walk up kind of almost arrogantly. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, like they, like, you know, like they're, dude, it's, they're just rude. I, I said, and it's so funny too, how people don't really view it as a job. Like, you yeah. know, they come there, like, you know, it's a fucking playtime thing. They don't know what it takes. It took me 18 years to get booked in this fucking place. And yeah. now you're coming in like, a dude, there was one family, okay? We were out to dinner. My father-in-law picked up the dinner, by the way. And, and they're sitting there. And it, I, they said, hey, you know, oh, you, you, you're performing? Yeah. I said, well, they seem nice. Okay, well, I'll leave you tickets. They show up, fucked up, in the uh, front row, put their feet on the fucking stage. She answered a phone call during my set and was talking loud. The audience was like, what is booing them? And, and I'm like, you're not, I go, if I tell you the story with this fucking white trash piece of shit, high-end couple, because they had money, but they were all fucked up. 
I said, if I tell you that not only did my father-in-law pick up their fucking dinner the night before, I gave them their tickets. You said that from the stage? Yeah, I gave them their tickets and, and, and they're the rudest fucking pieces of shit. And I just went off on them. I said, get the fuck out of here now. What? I swear to God, Verzi. Wow. I could you imagine? Could you imagine? Like, you know, I I go to your house and, yeah. and, and break bread with you. And then I come to your show and I got my feet on the fucking stage talking on the phone to a friend of mine. I mean, that's and then I, like, excuse me. And they go. Just being fucking rude, man. Uh, that's those are the worst people, man. <laughs> Yeah, no, because they want it about them. They want it about them. They want people to know that you know them. It's brutal, man. You know what's funny? I just picture somebody outside that gym watching you screaming at, at, at the phone. <laughs> Hold on. Mind your fucking business. <laughs> no, man, it's crazy. But, I, you know, I learned to – that was, like, earlier on, you know, they, they, yeah. you, just learn, you just learn through trial, you know. But, you know, I got people, I got cousins that I don't even talk to hitting me up for fucking Sebastian tickets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Dude, those things are going for, what, 500 a piece he's selling them for? Is he really? Yeah. And you want, what, you want eight tickets? So, my best friend, I'm supposed to give you $4,500 worth of fucking <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Do you ever have, I never talked to anybody about this, but I was just thinking about it. Do you have something where does your mother ever say to you like, oh, Brett, no, I don't God. want you. No. Does your mother ever say like, Brett, I love you. You're so funny. Can you stop cursing? Or like I, you curse too much. Does she ever say anything about that or no? Cause my mom, you know, my mom got a little, you know, my mom's definitely religious. She's, she's, she definitely has, is, has faith and stuff. And she'll say to me like, you know, I love you. You're so talented. She goes, but some of those clips, can you just stop cursing? And I know Chris Rock said something where Chris Rock is like, I don't perform in front of my mother if I'm going to curse because he says, do you have any, not that it not listen, it's my mother. So it's like, but do you ever have somebody going like, I don't appreciate you talking like that or, or no. Uh, not that they don't appreciate it. They've made some suggestions where I shouldn't say the F word so much, which I agree with that, but that's usually when I'm working out new material, you know, cause it's weird. It's like, uh, but my mom, no, my mom has never told me. The only thing that she said that was kind of like when I was doing jokes about my dad's suicide and then she was like, you know, why, you know, when I said, well, I, I can't make it funny. I'm trying to make it funny. Yeah. She's like, cause it's not, you know, right. but then I found a way to make it work, but that was the only time she was like, yeah. you know, but I, that she she's she's she laughs at her favorite joke is the one where i got caught with the toilet paper runway when i passed out i was jerking off <laughs> and, and i passed out with toilet paper on my chest and she she came in and woke me up and it was <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. wow i rubbing one out i came home i was hammered and you know how you make that toilet paper runway right here where you just you know Boom, he throw it under the <laughs> toilet paper runaway. I'd never heard of that in my life. You never put toilet paper or a towel right here when you rub it out? <laughs> no. Never. You don't lay it right here. So no. you just easy, quick, easy cleanup. You just throw it under the bed. Get no, rid of it the next morning. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> a toilet paper runaway. I never heard of that. That's hilarious. No, I did it on this isn't happening. I told the story, but it really happened. So I came home hammered and I, you know, I had to get one off and I'm like, I'm in the room, right? Like I'm back like this and I got, all, I got the toilet paper right here on my chest. Yeah. I'm like maybe a few strokes in and I just, I just pass out. And then when I wake up the next morning, I'm fucking tucked in my bed. Like, you know, she, she found me that way. She cleaned oh. I, you know, I, I passed out, like, you know. Oh, my God. But that's one of her favorite stories. And then uh, she you can hear her laughing all the time when I tell it. Oh, that's that, dude. That I, is a good one. Boy, 
she raised three boys by herself. I mean, you know, there was always girls like, cause we lived in, me and my brother shared a room. So after my older brother moved out, me and my little brother were crashing in the room, but he was at his girlfriend's house. I would bring girls home. You know what I mean? And then like, I'd be trying to sneak them out. It's like seven in the morning. She's already made breakfast for us. Like she like that, you know, just one of those moms that I remember I hit my rubbers one time, you know, and then I, I opened my drawer and they were in there like, you know, they're like an accordion, but they were just folded in, in, in the top drawer. <laughs> she, she organized them. She found them. Yo, you know what I was thinking about? I was, I was actually thinking about, because we were near Seaside. We were on the boardwalk of Seaside. And dude, I have never seen more fucking low lives. Dude, the boardwalk at Seaside was filled with shit that I, like my wife took the kids and she said she actually felt guilty. I mean, these fucking people, dude, were like, not just the guys running the games, but these fucking dudes just walking around like pants down, dirty sneakers. I listen, you could judge a dude by his, it's really true. Like, it, you know, sneakers, not even cleanliness of sneakers, but like year, make and model of the sneaker. And, yeah, and it's just dudes rocking friggin' uh, like those, those dad Nikes that you get at Marshall's. Those dad Nikes that with, are dirty. With the little stripe. With yes. the little stripe. And they're all dirty and shit with the big ass, with the big ass uh, heel, like oh. the big ass. You know what I mean? They look like stormtrooper boots. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're brutal, dude. I, we had a good time. We were at Lavalette. We were at the beach was Lavalette, so we were right next to we were right next to Seaside. But we're gonna go to Long Beach. Go to JR's Bar and Grill. Huh? You didn't go to JR's Bar and Grill. I tell you to go there all the time. That's actually why I took Bill when he called you and said this is some of the best pizza he you ever had. He yeah, ever is that, had. Is that in Seaside? Yeah, it was at Maruka's, to, the tomato pies. Phenomenal, bro. Phenomenal. How far is it from the boardwalk, though? Because I didn't know where it was. It's on the boardwalk. Oh, it's on the boardwalk. All right. So before the fire, Maruka's was a, a mainstay there. They make tomato pies, right? Okay. But when the fire happened, they were able to actually save the oven, I think. And then they brought it over and they rented it out. Uh, so my buddy that owns JR's Bar and Grill, which is one of the best places to hang, Maruka's is attached to that now. So they've been on the boardwalk for shit. I don't even know how long. I mean, since I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, but the tomato pies and mussels are unbelievable, man. So when I was, uh, when I was doing my show in Asbury, I think Bert was in Redbridge or something. Then we went out that night. We drove down there to watch the rest of the Yankees and Red Sox game. And we were up in the office and then we were just eating the pizza there. And that's when he called you and said, this is the best pizza. And you're like, and if it ain't from New York. It ain't <laughs> oh, uh, was that? Oh, he was in Red Bank, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that was like three years ago, I think, or four years ago. Yeah, we got to go. There's a couple of places in Connecticut we might be able to go if you're down. Uh, Pepe. I yeah. I'm like down. What are you nuts? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta come. You're gonna come to the. You gotta come up here. You gotta come to the house. We'll, we'll talk about that. Don't worry about. You need a ride. Listen. No, um, no, no. We'll talk about that. You got. Yeah. No. We'll, we'll do that. Um. Made an announcement. I'm doing the special September 18th. Uh. What are you doing? You got anything? You got any dates you want to plug? Uh. Well, hold on. I'll. I'll just. I want you to plug all the stuff that you want to plug in a second. I just want to say, we'll, we'll talk for a few more. I just want to get this out. Um, guys, Brett Ernst, my guest right now, we're having a good time. Berzy Effect 503. Uh, please like, subscribe, and rate the show. It makes the show go up. Brett's doing this from his car. We're having a good time out here. Um, the 17th and 18th, I will be at Levity Live. Actually, the 16th too, but we're taping the special on the 18th. Um, this week I'll be at the shoe theater Friday night next week. Like I said, Nashville Zanies, the 30th and the 31st, uh, after that, I'm going to, uh, I'll be in, uh, Austin, Texas at the sunset strip comedy club. I'm going to Omaha. I'm going to Salt Lake city, all the dates on paulverzi.com. Brett, what do you have coming up that you want to, uh, plug or is it the site? Uh, 
Uh, did I lose Brett? Brett, did I lose you? Oh, come on, man. This fucking thing. Uh, I lost Brett, guys. He's probably going to try to come back in. Hopefully he comes back in uh, to plug his stuff. But um, definitely check him out. And um, if you can't see me Friday at the shoe, go see him on Saturday. So fucking funny. You can see him in Cobra Kai season four coming out at the end of the year. Um, and I'm going to get yelled at by my wife because, uh, she said that I should have had this podcast done earlier and, uh, we have to go to my mother-in-law's for dinner. So, uh, when I'm like looking and smiling and having a fun time and I'm talking to my friend and then once the podcast stops and I walk out of my podcast studio into the living room and see my wife's face, it's going to probably be a hellish nightmarish drive up and I'm going to be called, uh, you know, not organized enough. Um, I might even get a selfish thrown at me. Um, so I don't know exactly uh, what's going to happen. So I'm just going to continue to smile and hopefully, you know, everything will be all right. Oh, Brett's coming back. So let's, uh, let's do that here. Uh, there he is. All right. Good. You good? Yeah. Oh, sorry about that, man. My phone overheated. Oh no, it's all, it's all good, man. I was just, just doing the plugs. Wanted to know what plugs you might've had. Um, yeah, I'm just in, uh, at the shoe theater this Saturday. And then, uh, in Connecticut, the week after that, I'm in Huntington beach, uh, at the rec room on Saturday. So do you have any listeners in California? Yeah. Go. Yes. Yeah, all my, yeah. Go see him at the rec room. Just go to Brett comedy. B R E T like Brett Favre, but Brett with one T comedy.com. And uh, you could just, you know, link my, my tour schedules at the bottom. Just scroll down. You need, you, 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 you like websites. Yeah. <laughs> you beat me to it. You fuck yo, you beat me to it, man. Damn. Um, yeah, no, we're gonna talk, man. When you come in on uh when you come in on Friday, we're gonna talk and we'll make some plans. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Just come out, you know, Saturday. Uh, you know, just drive in, whatever. We're definitely gonna go get pizza. Yeah. But listen, I need 20 tickets to see Burr. Can you call him for me? Listen, can you tell Vince Vaughn? Look, I got an idea. <laughs> listen, nothing's written yet. Listen, nothing's written yet, but I was daydreaming today. I was daydreaming and I thought of this unbelievable prison movie. I was wondering if you could just run it by and maybe have him write it though. He could write yeah. it, but I want to no, start no, no. in it. He's the only one that can write it. I'm not going to pay him, but I'll give him back end points. Yeah. I just, I want to be in it and have him write it, but he'll, the idea is, the, the idea is gold. Um, dude, that's, that's hilarious, man. Uh, I got, I'm going to dinner tonight. I'm going up to dinner to my, um, to my um, mother-in-laws, my uh, today is the birthday of my son's brother who passed away. Rest his soul, Kevin. Uh, so we are gonna go have a dinner. Wait, your have, son's brother? My son, my my wife's. No, my hold on. I'm sorry. My wife's brother, my brother-in-law. Okay, uh, his son. My no, my my wife's brother. Right. Yeah, he 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 passed away. Today's his birthday. We're gonna go. Oh, and, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. Nothing's worse than like I'm trying to. You try to say it right. You get all. Um, but yeah. So, anyways, um, we're gonna go do that. Have some food, and what can you do? You know. Well, listen, man. Hit me up. I gotta go in. I gotta go do some sets real quick. Well, listen, man. Make <laughs> sure you make sure you work the quads and the and the lower half. I took my amino energy and my Mountain Dew Rise. How you doing? Where's the Aqua De Gio? You serious? No, don't. Are you kidding me? You don't have it there. I mean, this kid is nuts. You have it in there? No. Hold on. No. Oh, uh, I mean, that's why I love you're the best, man. I mean, the kids. And I'll tell you right now, this scent right here, unbelievable. This one right here, I fucking love this one. What's that one called? You gotta order this on Amazon. I'll send it to you. What is it called? I don't know. It, my buddy wore it, and it's on Amazon. It's like seventeen bucks a bottle. Territory. This is, this is my gym scent. This is what I wear to the gym. 
<laughs> Territory. I got to try on. that, man. This is my air freshener. Like, I spray my car with this, you know, instead of using regular air freshener. Yeah. <laughs> this right here. Oh, this I that... use. It's, it's like a... Um, it smells like a uh, CK1 type. You Wait a know, minute. But I How use, many colognes? This as well. Hold on a second. How many colognes do you have in a car? I mean, what's I got, wrong? With I got four. <laughs> I got. Hold on. I got. Uh, what? Yeah, in case I hit the pool. <laughs> There's a little more fucking lotion. Yo, with six SPF. Like, yo, it's like you robbed the fucking Macy's. Like, <laughs> got robbers in here. <laughs> Oh shit, Brett Ernst, everybody, man. Did One you of say my... I robbed the Macy's? I said it looks like you robbed the Macy's. I uh, ro I robbed the bathroom attendant. <laughs> uh, guys, I got gum. I, I got gum in here, but this is what I want to show you guys, and this is for real. So, if you guys listen, if acting is your dream and you really want to do it. These are the type of residual checks you get. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. The uh, dollar. I got a dollar residual check. I got to go deposit. I just got a $5.65 one from King of Staten Island. My fucking scene got cut. Um, <laughs> guys, Brett Ernst, one of my favorites, one of the funniest, one of the absolute best. Um, Wait, one also, too, I don't know if you need this. I got trading cards as well. I got Emmett. Oh, this is a pinnacle rookie year. It's 1990, oh, uh, Chubb Rock. That's when he jumped upon the scene. Oh, that's fucking great. Um all right, guys, it's been episode 503. Brett, I'll see you this weekend. Check out Brett. Check out paulberzy.com for all tickets. Check out Brett Comedy for all tickets. Buddy, I'll see you soon, man. Hey, all jokes aside, man, I hope I, I, I love you, man. I'll see you this weekend. We go man, we're going to go manja tutu país. Now, we're, we're going to break some bread, man. I can't wait to see you, brother. All right, kid. Later, later.